The first step to how to install mods in GTA 5 is clicking the second link in the description, the one who's going to send you to our web page. Once you get here, you're going to see a little guide to how to install OpenIV. This is going to be the first step. If you don't want to read the guide, just click on the download icon and it's going to send you to the official web page of OpenIV. Next step is going to be to click and download again, and then we're going to download OpenIV. Next step is going to be to reach GTA 5 mod.com web page. Once you get here, we gonna search in the browser and we're gonna write script and then we're gonna download scripthoodv.net and the community scripthoodv these are pure carbon they're gonna help you to install mods in gta 5 so click on the first one and then we're gonna click on download once you click on download they're gonna send you to the official ab software web page so we're gonna click on download again and you have to make sure that you click on keep to finish the download then we're gonna go back go back and then we're gonna click on community screen of v click and download and then they're gonna send you to a github web page we're gonna look in the right side for their latest release and then we click in the latest scroll down and then we're gonna download this zip file once the download is done the next step is gonna be to download the menu mod so we're gonna look right here and then we're gonna write menu click on the first one and click on download again they're gonna send you to the github web page so we're gonna look in the right side the latest release click on it and then we're gonna click on zip file once the download is finished the last thing that we have to do is download a mod car so we're gonna go back again to the gta5 mod.com and then we're gonna click on vehicles and then we're gonna sort by most download and i am gonna to download the nissan gtr 2017 click on it download and click and download again we have everything download so the next step is gonna be to install open iv you have to look at it in the downloads or just simple click on it and then it's going to start the installation so we're going to click and continue accept click and continue again and then once you get here you don't have to touch nothing so click and continue and click on yes again it take like five seconds once the copy is finished so you have to click on close you're gonna find a little icon so we're gonna click on gta5 and we have to log it if you don't know where to find your gta5 main files i have it on steam so just open on steam right click on gta5 manage and browse local 5 if you don't know how to do it on steam that's the way if you don't know Know how to do in rockstar is almost the same thing so and then once you get to the main file of gta5 you're gonna see a top bar you're gonna click in the blank space and right click and copy this is the address that you need so click on browse click in the blank space again right click and paste then select if you do it right this is gonna send you this message successful and then we're gonna click and continue continue again and then we're gonna start to launch in the program once the launching is finished you're gonna see this interface the first things that you need to do is clicking edit mode and click on yes why we do that because we need to do some change and we have to need the edit mode is enabled if it is your first time launching open iv or installing open iv and you click on edit mode they're gonna to show you this interface these things is going to be installing so you have to click on install install and install and then if you click on these two they're going to show you a message asking you if you want to create a mods folder you click on yes and then you click on close that's all that you need to know when you click the mode the next step is going to be to work with main files of gta5 we are going to create a folder in the desk a new folder why we have to do that because we're going to move all the downloads that we do to make it clean and draw and copy to the desk now we're gonna extract all the zip files starting with the screen who v.net extract extract free who v we can delete it Once you have everything extracted in the folder, we're gonna start to draw all that we need to install mods in GTA 5. So we're gonna click on scriptv.net and then we're gonna draw and copy all these files except the TX file, okay? Inside the main folders of GTA 5, remember, inside the main folder of GTA 5. So replace it, I already have it. And then scriptv, click on Bing. And then here we're gonna draw and copy the input and scriptv, not the native trainer. Okay, so drag and copy, place, go back, go back, and the menu. Except the TX files, 
the folder and the other file we're gonna draw and copy inside gta5 so replace it again now we're gonna do a very important step we're gonna copy update and then we're gonna copy inside the mods folder i already have it but you have to copy inside the mods folder we're gonna do it again why we do that because if your game crash, you only have to delete the mods folder and you're going to have the original game again. You don't have to uninstall the game or delete the game. The only thing that you need to do is delete the mods folder and you have the original game again and do this process again. This is a very important step. Don't forget it. The next step is going to be to add a mods car inside OpenIV. So we're going to click on OpenIV. We're going to click on mode, update, x64, DLC pack. And once you get here, we're going to add the mods car, okay? The ones that we download is the GTR 2017. This is the folder that you that we are going to use. So click on it, copy and draw, okay? So then we're going to go back until mods folder, update. And once you get an update again, we're going to click on RPF update. So come on again, data. And then we're going to right click on DLC list and click on edit. You're going to see a lot of line codes here. So we're going to copy the last line code and then we're going to press enter and paste. And then we're going to eliminate the words inside the slashes. And then we're going to copy the name GTR or just write it. I'm going to write it. Okay. But you can copy the name. So click on save and then we're going to start the game. Once you get inside the game, to open the menu, you're going to press F8. Once you open the menu, you're going to click on vehicle options and then you're going to click on vehicle spawner once you get here we're gonna input model and then we're gonna write the gtr car okay and that's it guys that's how you install a mod in gta 5 don't forget to subscribe